What kept you? What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering and some chaos erupting at Twitter as uh, various governments are demanding massive censorship and giving them just 24 hours to do so. Of course, we know given historically, Twitter is happy to comply with governments demanding censorship, uh, granting 83% of requests from various foreign governments under the ownership of Elon Musk. Now, I don't believe that Elon Musk is the one approving these. Uh, I, I firmly believe that it is his CEO, WEF stand-in, Linda Yaccarino, who has been uh, under fire as of lately for in innumerable policies, including, uh, but not limited to, admitting to everybody that they are still shadow banning by calling it a lawful but awful speech being deboosted, double confirming that we're still shadow banning uh, people on Twitter by now offering in, allegedly in our dashboard, being able to tell us why we're being shadow banned. We've seen a excess in a, a large increase in uh, trigger words that stop monetization on various uh, uh, posts and things like that on the platform. It's morphing very quickly back into a lot of Twitter 1.0 type policies. And now it looks like according to some online reporting, that Yaccarino won't be sitting uh, next to Elon Musk much longer. And well, I assume she needs, needs a new pair of uh, underoos for that. And I've got the perfect solution for it. Check it out. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Sheath. Look, fellas, particularly, I know it can be a little bit weird to be thinking about changing out your underwear, something you've been wearing basically the same thing for as long as you can remember. But allow me to give you a couple of reasons why. And plus, ladies, Sheath also has a lot for you as well. Look, fellas, fellas, first of all, the boxers are designed to keep your balls off your legs. Sheath has two individual compartments to keep everything down there separate and comfortable. Traditional boxer briefs are barbaric, invented during the Neanderthal era. Sheath has a modern ergonomic design intended to prevent skin-on-skin -skin contact for long durations, which can build heat, sweat, and smell, fellas. There's an inverted kangaroo pouch for your joey to keep you from sticking to your thigh. You'll chafe and readjust less because everything is cool and in a separate compartment. They were invented by a U.S. Army soldier who came up with the idea for sheath during his second tour in Iraq where it was hot as heck and his boys needed to breathe. He invented these underwear to keep your boys cool and comfortable. He's basically a hero. And again, I know it's a weird thing to think about changing, but I'm telling you, once you try Sheath's products, men and women, there's a wide variety of sizes available. I think you're really going to love them. So click the link below and use code thequartering at checkout or go to sheathunderwear.com slash thequartering for 20% off. And hey, you'd be doing your balls a huge favor. Yeah, I know it's weird to think of uh, fellows and ladies, but uh, you've got very little risk in giving them a try. So uh, give Sheath uh, a try. Now, let's start with Europe giving Elon Musk just 24 hours to respond about the ongoing conflict, quote, misinformation and other spicy type posts on X, formerly Twitter. Now, we know that uh, misinformation is coming from all sides. People like Ian Miles Chong purposely perpetrating it on the internet for likes and retweets, governments doing it, individuals on the ground doing it, sympathizers for both sides doing it. I feel like you can believe almost nothing. And a lot of people, I see you in the comments saying, you know, this is an op, that's an op, this is fake, that's fake. Who, who could blame people for feeling this way after we've been lied to by the mainstream media for so long? And while our government too. A European regulator has now issued Elon Musk a stern warning about the spread of illegal content and disinformation on X, formerly known as Twitter, amid everything going on. Uh, European regulators around failure to comply in just 24 hours uh, mean it could result in a fine of 6% of the company's annual revenue. Thierry Breton, the European Commissioner for International Markets, said that the letter addressed to Musk on Tuesday that his, said his office has indications that v groups are spreading, quote, misinformation um, on X and urged the billionaire to respond within a 24-hour period. The letter comes after numerous researchers, news organizations, and other groups have documented a rise of misleading, false, and questionable content on X, creating confusion about the current conflict. Look, I think this type of 
you know, out of context bait type uh, posts have existed on Twitter long before um, Elon Musk purchased it. Uh, it has been proliferating for years. It has been spread by bad actors. It's been spread by journalists who are also bad actors. And it's been spread by governments. I mean, Twitter even allowed uh, like the Chinese Communist Party on the, to, to, to uh, spread propaganda on their platform. So, I mean, let's not pretend like this is new under Elon. Of course, the media will do that. He reminded Elon Musk in the letter that the DSA sets a very precise obligation regarding content moderation and that X needs to be very transparent and clear on what content is permitted under your terms and consistently and delinquently, diligently, sorry, enforce your own policies. Look, I mean, uh, we've seen this before. We know how certain platforms handle it. Uh, we know how Rumble handles it. Uh, Rumble, by the way, uh, when the government told them that they had to censor certain content uh, in France in particular, ban certain creators, they just left France. That's how you deal with a lot of this stuff. Now, Twitter is still heavily reliant on advertisers, and so there's still that leverage point with them. I want to remind you, I'm going to leave a link in the pinned comment below. If you're watching this video, I do a live show every day on Rumble from 12 to 2. This video is coming out on YouTube around 1 o'clock which means if you're around in the first hour or two, I'll still be live. Um, and if nothing else, use the link to go over there and follow me on Rumble, get the Rumble app and participate in our daily live streams. I've got guests tomorrow. I've got Rusty Cage um, next week, Shamika Michelle. And then I've got, I mean, I've had Roseanne. I've had Amaranth. I've had so many people. Um, I'd really enjoy uh, you stopping by and just saying hi. Now, in reaction to this, of course, what did Twitter do? They have removed hundreds, hundreds of accounts. You see, Linda Yaccarino says, X has redistributed resources to combat misinformation in response to the EU letter. Uh, European unions, of course, so they responded post haste quickly. Uh, Musk replied, I'm sorry, European penned the letter. Musk replied to Breton's post saying that X is open source and transparent. Breton replied to Musk saying, you're well aware of your users and authorities report on fake content and glorification of, of bad things up to you to demonstrate that you walk the talk. Yaccarino officially replied with a letter late Wednesday that reinforced the restrictions on the platform. Every day we're reminded of our global responsibility to protect the public conversation by ensuring everyone has access to real-time information and safeguarding the platform for all our users, Yeccarino wrote. In response to the recent incidents going on, we've redistributed resources, refocused internal teams who are working around the clock to address this rapidly evolving situation. Now, if, if you've been like, you know, if you're like me and you're just, you've seen read between these lines so many times before, what Linda's saying is here now, we're rolling out wide-scale uh wide wide scale censorship now i don't actually have a problem with the current system in place with community notes on fake videos but uh that's not what this is um they've banned uh dozens and dozens of accounts you see yaccarino noted that the efforts of x to remove and label thousands of pieces of content on the site shortly after news broke x assembled a leadership group to assess the situation the CEO ran through all the policies in place to prevent the misuse of the platform, including crisis response. Um, X is committed to transparency, safety, and successful implementation of the DSA will continue. Um, yeah. And, you know, you see this article. Uh, X has removed hundreds of any accounts linked to the, ba the, the uh, people that did the thing. I have to be careful because now like seven out of ten videos that I put out are, are yellow. Um, but it's interesting to me, after this 24-hour warning, you see this article, maybe Yaccarino won't be sitting next to Musk for that much longer. It seems Twitter is losing confidence in CEO Linda Yaccarino, or perhaps Yakko is tired of having her already miserable brand ruined by association. After a recent performance at a technology conference where no one believed anything she had to say, Yaccarino has dropped out of the next planned speaking event. Yaccarino was Musk's hand-picked CEO to replace him at, a form, at formerly Twitter. She intended to turn around advertising exodus and convince folks that Twitter is a safe place for brands to reach customers. 
Musk is currently under fire for recommending horrendous disinformation sources regarding everything going on over the Mideast. This says Yakarina will be una- unable to attend the Wall Street Journal Tech Live conference next week. I mean, I don't know why she would go. All they're going to do is just go after her. You know what I mean? Like, I, I guess, like, that's that's it. Um, <laughs> you see this. Amazing to see this exchange. She'd kind of put this out there. I mean, I don't know if she's really going to be gone. I think that would be a probably an embarrassing moment for Elon Musk. Uh, I think that right now he's going to let her kind of do uh, whatever she wants. Elon Musk social network claims to be cash flow positive, excluding its debt payments. Well, I mean, the debt payments are quite large. Um, but that said, I mean, I would assume that that's probably true. I mean, the level of cut, cutting deep that they did to fire all these people, I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I, you know, I understand the position where you don't want like knowingly, you know, people using propaganda, using your platform to spread it willingly, knowingly. Um, but I think what we've seen here is uh, widespread censorship. The pressure of advertisers is, is making Elon crack. And uh, it's entirely possible that we're going to see Linda Yaccarino take the fall for all this after the whole experiment fails. It's going to be interesting, interesting to see how this all shakes out. But uh, I certainly don't think Linda Yaccarino is the correct person. She doesn't have the stones and background to lead Twitter through this. She doesn't have the decision making and the and the uh, she doesn't care about free speech. Elon says he does, so if he does, he should have hired a CEO that does, and that's kind of what they need. Maybe they should talk to the guys at Rumble. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and you subscribe down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.